Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Twitch desktop app. Uh, this was formerly known as the Curse uh, Client, and uh, this is where you would get your, basically you'd use this for MMORPGs like Elder Scrolls, World of Warcraft, uh, Minecraft, and we're going to teach you at least today how to install a Minecraft mod pack using this. So uh, here we go, we're going to go to app.twitch.tv, or twitch.tv, sorry, and we're going to download it, and I'll have the link in the description, at the very bottom of the description, so you, you can ignore all my other crap. And uh, here it is. We're going to open and run it, and we're going to install it. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. And this should be relatively quick. It depends on your computer, of course, but uh, it's a pretty clean install. And uh, you won't see that. It'll go black. There you go. It just was giving me permission to, uh, you know, the Windows elevation permissions there, so you wouldn't have seen it, of course, but uh, that's why it went black. Uh, so you can log into Curse or Twitch. Um, it's recommended that if you have a Curse client that you log in there and merge it with Twitch, or it might come on either or, but I did merge mine, so I'll log in with uh, the Twitch, so we just put my information in here. There we go. And there you go. So you got this, I'll say no thanks for now for that friend sync. You'll get a lot of things coming up, you know, they're they're just like help tabs and stuff. All the annoying stuff that most of us would be like, Arr! but that's life, right? Okay, so uh, you should have a Minecraft icon. I believe everyone should have this. If not, you should be able to go to settings, Minecraft, enable the mod management over here. Um, if uh, you don't see it on the side here. Uh, you can also do uh, add-ons here and uh, you can you know figure out how all the add-ons for all the different uh, games and stuff like that but they should also be detected automatically like I don't have WoW installed but I have Elder Scrolls Online installed and already it's popped up here uh, with that so uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll just say got it there you go. Um, pretty cool anyways. Uh, so let's go to Minecraft. Uh, we're going to go and click install and we're going to let it do its thing here. There it goes. Boom. Done. Over. Okay. So you have two mod pack types that you can get here. It gets confusing. Some people think there's a bug or an issue. Uh, so if you wanted to go and browse all mod packs and type infinity, you're going to find infinity evolved here and you're going to find, I think all the feed the beast ones here. But if I want say age of engineering, you're going to see it in here. But if we went back and said, browse the feed, the piece feed, the beast mod packs and went, uh, age of engineering, it won't be there. So make sure you don't click the feed the beast one. Just click all mod packs because it'll show both feed the beast and all of them. And that's a little easier to go through. So I'm going to go, for example, age of engineering, and uh, we're going to go ahead and install it. We're going to download it. Ta -da -da. And it'll take a while because, you know, it, there's a lot of going on. So the first setup was a one-time kind of thing for that version of Minecraft. That was downloading Minecraft itself, the launcher, the libraries. The nice thing is a lot of people are not trustworthy of third-party clients and thing, uh, programs when uh, using it. Uh, for their password, their Minecraft password, things like that. Well, the good news here is it actually launches the vanilla launcher itself and uses it. It downloads it and plays fair and uses their rules to launch it. And then you type in your information from there. So there it is. It's already done. We can go back and there it is here as well. Uh, if you need to uh, modify, like if you have a client add-on that maybe a server you're playing has, you could just right-click this open the folder and it opened over here and there you go so if you have a zip or something that you're supposed to extract or replace it this is where you would do it uh, if you want to install a crease uh, sorry uh, a custom profile you can do it from here so you can call it uh, whatever version of minecraft you want so let's do 1.10 for fun and let's call it test uh, you can actually go here and uh, add mods to it. So you can click and get mods from here or even better yet, maybe uh, the server you play has a custom uh, pack. So what you can do is, uh, actually that's the wrong way I think. You, you don't do it through there. I think you create a custom profile. Oh, and then up here you can import it. So you can browse it. So here I have an unnamed pack that I made a while ago actually. So it'll actually download and install it and there you go. How cool is that? So you got a lot of options there. And then when we hit play, 
Uh, it'll download the runtimes for the Minecraft updater because this is the vanilla Minecraft updater. This will actually be the new and uh, improved uh, launcher as well. Uh, you can actually go back and hit the gear settings here and change it to the legacy one if you really want to. Uh, you can do the jar launcher instead of the native launcher and that will bring back the old, old launcher if you want. But uh, you got your new launcher here so you put your information in. Yay! You can email me now. And then, I'm trying to f remember my password. There you go. And then uh, there it is. So it'll say 1.11. When you first launch it, it might glitch up. That's sadly a bug. Close it down, relaunch it one more time, and it should pop up with the correct information down here. Yeah, there you go. So as long as you see the Ford version, Forge version, not version, <laughs> and Age of Engineering or whatever the name of the pack is, you know it works. And then all you have to do is hit play, and boom, you're off to the races. And... Uh, Oh yeah, it's still downloading more of the vanilla Minecraft launcher stuff. Go figure. Uh, but either way, uh, that is how it works. And now it'll launch properly here in a minute. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all she wrote. And hopefully that was easy and simple for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And it's almost done, so I might as well show you. Oh, look at that. Negative two megabytes. <laughs> and uh, I'll just show you it popping up. Come on, pop up. You can do it. And there we go. It's loading. Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching and have a good one.